in spite of all of the nevers that she was told. There's a tendency for the back of the brain to get extra circuits. In fact, in my own brain, they did this scanning, but I always emphasize, develop the area of strength. Take the thing the kids fixated on and build on that thing. He likes trains, let's teach reading with trains. Let's do math with trains. Let's build up on those things that he's interested in. There's the cat before they turned on the stimulation to the thalamus. And it's in, in a world that's so lacking in evidence-based information, we have her, and she can translate her personal experience to us to give us something to do. The antidote to being scared and depressed about a condition that you don't really truly understand or that you can't fix with you know, surgery or a pill. But what you can do is you can learn to live with autism in such a way that it's actually a marvelous life. I love the way Tumble has changed just in these last 10 years. At Christmas time, she said, well, the older I get, the less autistic I am. <laughs> and it's true. It's really true. We sit like baby birds with open beaks, waiting to have the information popped into our mouths, uh, the answer to our life's problem popped into our life, without understanding that the help exists not to solve our life, but simply to help us to determine our life ourself. When does a social preference, an eccentric quirk, become a disorder? Who gets to decide? Temple's mother is an advocate for Temple. Temple and I have two recollections. I think she asked me first, when she was about nine, why am I different? She didn't say, am I different? She said, why am I different? I said, I don't know, but so what? You are who you are. No matter how hard it was, she maintained her advocacy role always, and that mattered to Temple, but it also mattered to the world. It mattered to me. It gave me a role. It gave me an understanding. It gave me abilities. And it took me on a very different road, and I love that road. And it's what's given deep meaning to my life. Also, my, do you know how much question. we need men? Uh, you uh, must be aware of that. Well, I, I this sense is the two of us are working together. This is the Temple Grand and Eustacia yes, Cutler Autism Fund, which is dedicated oh, wow. to Thank the you. guidance and support of all family members. And it is also for guidance and support for the organizations that are helping. And I had to switch from anger to crime. I don't really know how I did that, but that saved my career. And I've had moms say to me, I don't like the fact that my teenage boy cries. I go, good, geeks can cry. Geeks that cry have jobs. Geeks that throw things don't have jobs. Temple always has the welfare of people with autism and their families in her heart, and she is able to translate that into a charge to the community. That is well-spoken. She also does it with great humor and wit and intelligence, and she's endearing to every person. So a person who was once a hero to the autism community is now a hero to everybody. Please join me in welcoming Temple Grandin into the Colorado Women's Hall of Fame. We consider Temple Grandin to be a quintessential inductee because she has not only changed and impacted the industry that of animal behaviors, but she's also on a personal level inspired many parents to see the potential for their children and the children themselves that, ah, if she can do it, I can do it too. But there are different minds, and I'm worried that we're shutting out some of the different kinds of minds. One advantage of going into the cattle industry and the meat industry, it is, was a profession with no barrier of entry. But we need different minds. I don't think that there's any way that a human being who's an, a hero like Temple could know the effect that she has. I mean, she can hear about that, but she doesn't know what she did for me by producing that book by letting me listen, by sharing herself. Our shared concern 
These, this is so valuable because what happens is autism is a buzzword right now, but people don't really know what the buzz is about. And they're a little anxious about finding out about what the buzzword is about. I think if we were all together, we could clarify it. It's not really that complicated. Once you understand, and with a little generosity of heart, a great deal of this will be easier to deal with. One geek gets to go to Hollywood, another geek gets to go to Silicon Valley, and there's another geek going on Social Security in the basement, and he shouldn't be there. The world really does need all kinds of minds, and with her rare and special vision, Temple Grandin has reshaped our perspective. I realize she has evolved in a spectacular way and has been in contact with people all over the world, and she's been recognized for her work in that industry. That's an extraordinary accomplishment. It doesn't mean she's cured. It does mean she's fulfilled. If you want to bring the cattle up there, and they see all the cars parked there, they're not going to want to People's go. understanding of autism has broadened into believing that people have not just abilities, but Show gifts, so not just talents, but a vision of a world that is different and in some ways more brilliant than anything that we could have conceived. To try to imagine a world that is not language. People just can't wait to, to be talking to her personally, but just to hear her changes lives every day. Her books change people's lives every day. Now, I don't know anyone in the autism world who has had anywhere near the impact that Tumble Green okay. has. I can't emphasize enough the importance of early intervention. You got a two-year-old, a three-year-old that's not talking, the worst thing you can do is to do nothing. All the science shows very clearly you got to work with those kids. They need at least 20 hours a week of one-to-one -one teaching. We expect kind of kind our faculty to really be transformative. And for Temple Grandin, you can see that not only in the livestock industry, that she's virtually single-handedly changed and transformed the way animals are handled, but also you see it in the spectrum of autism and really in using her personal story in life as a beacon to other people. For someone to have that transformative an effect is remarkable, and Colorado State University could not be more proud. That's all you have to do. You're awesome. That's Thank all you, you so got to do. That's we can never see the world quite as brilliantly and perceptively as, as, as Temple does with this laser light vision. But the story can help you see what she sees, and, and you can get drawn into her world, her personality. And her personality is something else. <laughs> she is one, one, one hell of a person. I'm hoping that some of the things I've done is going to inspire young people.